Seven Days of Learning About the Whole Foods Diet, Day 2 The Pros and Cons of the Whole Foods Diet The Whole Foods Diet is an eating plan that focuses on consuming whole, unprocessed foods. Proponents of the diet argue that this type of eating can offer numerous health benefits, including weight loss, improved digestion, and reduced inflammation. However, while there are certainly some advantages to following a whole foods diet, there are also some potential drawbacks to consider. Pros and Cons of a Whole Foods Diet The Pros It may promote weight loss. One of the main benefits of the whole foods diet is that it may help with weight loss. This is because foods tend to be lower in calories and fat than processed foods. Additionally, the fiber in whole foods can help promote feelings of fullness, leading to reduced calorie intake. Another potential benefit of the whole foods diet is improved digestion. Whole foods contain more fiber than processed foods, and fiber is essential for proper digestive function. Fiber helps add bulk to stool and keeps things moving through the digestive system at a healthy pace. The whole foods diet may reduce inflammation. Inflammation occurs in the body when you are injured or suffering from an infection and is a totally natural process. However, chronic inflammation has been linked to several health conditions, including heart disease and arthritis. Some research suggests that the nutrients in whole foods may help reduce inflammation. Now, the cons of the whole foods diet include the downside that it can be more expensive than an eating plan that includes processed foods. This is because whole foods are often organic and free from additives, driving up the price. But remember, not all of your produce must be organic. Another way to look at it is that treating disease Paying doctor co-pays, specialist procedures and prescriptions are unquestionably expensive. Another potential downside of the whole foods diet is that it can be time consuming to prepare meals. This is especially true if you are used to eating convenience foods that require little to no cooking. Meal prep is key. While whole foods are generally healthy, they may not provide all the nutrients your body needs. For example, whole grains do not contain vitamin C and meat does not contain vitamin A. So it's still possible that you will need to supplement your diet with vitamins and minerals if you follow a whole foods diet. The need for supplements will add to the cost. However, it is important to first determine the nutrients your diet lacks and needs. A whole foods diet is a healthy way of eating with many potential benefits. However, there are also some downsides to consider before making the switch. Ultimately, whether or not the whole foods diet is proper for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. If you are thinking about trying the whole foods diet, talk to your doctor, a registered dietitian, or nutrition professional first. They can help you ensure that you are getting all the nutrients you need and answer any questions you may have.